Everyone regularly working with video has encountered the need to either speed up or slow down recorded material. Edius offers two ways of changing video clip speed on a timeline. The first is changing the clip playback speed by a constant speed. Clip playback speed can be entered either as percentage points or as clip duration. To apply a clip speed change is very easy. Just mark the clip whose speed you'd like to change with the right mouse button, select time effect from the options and then speed. The Alt E keyboard shortcut is also available. This tool offers both forward and backward clip playback speed change. If you wish to change the backward playback speed, select backward and enter the change value. After the change is applied, we can see that an orange band appears at the top part of the clip, reminding us of change in the clip playback speed. The second option how to change the playback speed on Edius's timeline is the time remap function, which can also be found in the time effect folder. The shift alt e keyboard shortcut can also be used. This way of changing the clip speed differs from the speed function. The main difference is in so-called dynamic or if you will continuous clip speed change. It means that the playback speed will change with time based on our settings. In this tool, the timeline and the clip displayed below it will serve the purpose. First, let's find the point where we wish the speed to change. After that, press the Add Key icon and note that a point has been added above the timeline that marks the starting point of playback speed change. Now by moving the cursor along the timeline, let's find the point at which we wish the speed change to end. Press the Add Key icon again, creating the end point for playback speed change on the timeline. Now we've created two points the start and the end of the section whose speed we wish to change. If you want to slow the section, move the end point to the right along the timeline. Otherwise, move it to the left and the speed will increase. Generally, if the distance between the start and end points on the timeline is greater than the distance between the start and the end clip links, the clip section speed decreases. If the distance is smaller, the clip section playback speed increases. Confirm the setting by pressing OK and check the result while playing the clip.